as long-term investments, the airline sector is not really a good place to be. However, as a trading vehicle, the airlines are excellent. The leadership in the space regularly changes places. For example, Southwest Airlines used to be considered the best in breed. But thanks to some missed earnings and underperformance, it has sold off more than 55% from its highs just seen in 2021. In order to avoid that kind of single company risk, I choose to use the exchange-traded fund instead of choosing any of the individual companies. The U.S. Global Airlines ETF has the appropriate ticker symbol, JETS, or JETS. This week, the airlines continued to come under selling pressure. The combination of high oil prices as well as consumers pulling back on travel has made it so that the airlines have had to start cutting their prices, which means their profit margins are cut as well as their revenues. And even though JETS hasn't sold off 55% like Southwest, it has sold off more than 24% since its highs just two months ago in July. If we do head into a recession, it's likely that both consumers and businesses will pull back on travel. Business travel used to be a bedrock of the airlines before the medical crisis in 2020, but because businesses became familiar with being able to do remote work using products like Zoom, this isn't as big an issue. Businesses can now cut back on their travel because they have alternatives to doing that travel. Accordingly, you can never trust a bottom in the airline. However, there are points of support where you can buy in stages and add to the position. Since the airlines are cyclical, I really like it as a moderate term trade, buying when the airlines are in weakness and then selling them as they come into strength. This week, the ETF sold off and hit my next buy target on the 21st of September, adding 14.96% to my allocation at $17.39. This buy locked in a 19.64% discount on shares that I sold for $21.64 on July 20. Additionally, this raised my per share cost $22.86 from negative $29.12 to negative $6.26. In all of my portfolios, a negative per share cost means that I've taken all the original investment capital out of the position in addition to $6.26 per share of what's left in the portfolio. Longtime viewers and readers might notice that a 15% buy at one time is a little bit bigger than I normally make. However, this is a trade. It's in my speculation and play portfolio. This is not a long-term investment. And even though $17 even is a key level of support that the ETF has seen many times in the past, there's no promises that it will hold. So my next buy target is above the next level of support at $14.84. Additionally, I'll start taking profits with my next sell target at $22.45, just under the high jet saw in July. The airlines are a great place to trade, but a terrible place to invest. And if you go in, remember to always manage your risk by limiting limiting your size and knowing exactly how much money you're willing to lose in its entirety.